Greetings. I'm the Computer King, the supervillain of streaming. And this morning I saw something surprising. I can't do a reaction to it because I've already reacted to it, but I will do a review of it. And I think uh, a lot of people should see this and just get a good look. I mean, it's over there right now, but I'm going to make it bigger. And, it, and you can see, it's the Cats official trailer. Yes, they made a movie out of the Broadway musical that was made based off of a T.S. Eliot book. So it's three layers of uh, fantasy there. Before I say anything about it, I want everybody to see. So, here we go. All right. That's what I saw this morning. And I had my own opinion. So I went around and I said, okay, let me see what people who are reacting to this think. And a lot of them are creeped out by what the cats look like. Personally, I don't think they're cats. They are cat people. They don't count as cats really they're weird the things i expect from uh, to be cat like are not they've ruined my my um aussie crush rebel wilson by basically showing her naked with no nipples and just fur <laughs> nope i mean she can sit in my lap and I'll pet her, but I don't want to fuck a cat. Do you want to fuck a cat? No. It, it removes some of the sexy and makes the sexy strange. Not that I'm bashing anyone for liking furry stuff. This isn't furry stuff. This is weird CGI. And the two will get sort of mingled there. So I suggest if you go see the movie when it's 
when it first opens to sit near the back rows because if there are per pervs, not just fairies, uh, furries, <laughs> not just furries, but pervs who like fucking animals. If they go to these theaters you're gonna, and you're sitting in front of them, you're going to get jizz on the back of your neck. Don't do it. For actual furries, go see it. Also sit in the back behind the weirdos. You'll probably figure out who they are by looking at them, and they're not going to be in fursuits. Really. Believe me. Uh, there are way weirder people out there than uh, um, furries or supervillains. Um, I might see this movie. Doubtful. I don't go to see movies very often. I'm probably going to wait till it comes out on uh, Netflix or something. Even if, it, even if it's a for-pay for service, I might pay for it. Because Cats was a part of my childhood because it was everywhere. I lived in New York City. Every time I went downtown, big old cat eyes staring at me with dancing people as the people. That's, that's one of my problems. Why don't the cats have cat eyes? Oh, can you imagine Idris Elba? I mean, he looked pretty, pretty swank with the fedora and the and the, uh, the trench coat. Although why are cats wearing clothes? I don't know. But imagine if he had cat eyes too. He'd be fucking awesome to look at. Which brought me to my second thought. I would definitely watch this if this movie were actually not cats, but a prequel to a. Thundercats live action movie. That's what this technology should have been used for. I mean, with cats in the play, music, Broadway musical, they had um, leg warmers and furry sort of cat like outfits and mittens to make their fingers look like paws. These are just cat people. Cat people. I mean, I look, I'm in my robe. I I could not get let this go by without making a note and saying something and recording this. I've done one reaction before this and it was okay. But I'm going to leave you with this. This would have been better for a ThunderCats movie. The things that made the uh, the uh, music, Broadway musical Cats sort of cool is the stuff they left out. I mean, uh, sure, the dancing's in there. Good. They've added new dancing, new dancers, new dance types for it. Great. But when cats have human hands and they're the wrong size for the things that they're using. Like, I don't know about you guys, but my cat, if, if I put a fork next to my cat, the fork is not going to be bigger than the cat's arms and the head. It's going to go up to like um, almost to the shoulder tops. But that fork and knife were like huge. I mean, is, is she a kitten? Also, when I heard that quote, do you, do you want to try to, for a new life, first thing I thought of was, are they going to get in a rocket and fly to third earth? They are perfect for Thundercats. And Mumra, one of the greatest 80s cartoon villains. I don't even know if this movie and the musical has a villain. Just cats. But that's me saying my piece about this. Maybe I'll do reactions more later on. I want to do a shout out to my uh, greatest Patreon patron, <clears throat> Scott Cullen, aka Scullin on Twitter. No, Twitch. Scullin on Twitch. Scullin underscore. He is awesome. And uh, I'll be going for now to put some clothes on. Maybe I'll react to some more stuff. Because apparently a whole bunch of shit came out in Comic-Con. Until then, have a good night.
but don't forget to stay evil. Ha <laughs> ha